and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is some pair closest to target which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given two parameters first one is an array arr of integer type and another one is an integer target and what we have to do is we have to return the pair we have to return the pair whose sum is most close to target whose sum is most close to target okay all right so now let's see it with one test case one example to make it more clear so here our target is 25 okay all right our sum of two elements which the pair which i have to find that pair sum can either be greater than target or it can be less than target but it should be closest to the target okay all right what does this mean suppose uh, my target is equal to 25 only which i am given okay and my uh, one sum let's say one pair is uh, uh, first sum let's say is equal to 22 okay one pair sum and another pair sum is equal to let's suppose 19 oh uh, let's suppose 26 let's suppose 26 okay and which of these which of these is closest to target which of these is closest to 25 second one second one is closest to 25 because the absolute difference of the sum and the target is less is one only uh, for this second one and for first it is three okay so absolute difference should be as minimum as possible and uh, when we will get it i will simply return the return that uh, pair that pair value i have to return we don't have to do anything with the indexes here we just have to return the pair okay all right now uh, i think the problem statement will be pretty clear but if we will read this note line uh, let me explain this as well so let's suppose uh, uh, let's suppose our target is 25 again okay all right one pair is uh, first pair sum is let's suppose uh, 22 okay all right and the numbers the numbers are what let's suppose 2 comma 20 okay 2 comma 20 numbers are there and its sum is equal to 22 all right second pair uh, second pair is also uh, sum is 22 but the pair is something like let's suppose 8 comma uh, what would be 22 for 22 8 comma 16 okay 8 comma 14 this is second pair okay so look the pair the only two pairs are there and uh, the both are have both have the are same close both are same close to 25 so in that case what i have to return it's uh, it's like we are stuck at this point so if we can write it here read it here return the pair in sorted order and if there are multiple such pairs yes there is a multiple pair return the one with maximum absolute difference like we have to return that pair who has the which has the maximum absolute difference between them okay all right what does this mean so if i will take the absolute difference between these two numbers 2 and 20 it will be 18 okay all right and if i will take the difference between this 14 and 8 it will be 6 okay so which has the most max uh, absolute difference first one so i will return 2 comma 20 okay all right so this is what this note section means and i think now problem approach or problem statement will be pretty clear to you so let's move on to the approach which we what approaches we can take okay all right so the first approach which is coming in my mind is basically use a, is a brute force approach okay uh, brute force approach i will take and i will take two nested loops first one let's suppose i will be at this point j will be start j will start from i plus one and uh, uh, like j will move till the last okay i is constant and i will let's suppose keep the differences absolute difference uh, how close we have come how close we have come i will keep on calculating that and if uh, let's suppose i'm uh, less and i've come more close i will take a variable and store it and whenever i will get the difference which is more closer absolute difference which is more closer i will update my answer okay in this way we can take and we will try all the pairs we will try all the pairs okay all right in this way but what will be the time complexity for this approach the time complexity for this approach will be n square i think you guys have got this approach so the time complexity will be n square and uh, if we will see the constraints here constraints are basically 10 raised to the power 5 array size is 10 raised to the power 5 and which will give us time limit exceed okay which will give us time limit exceed so we have to think of optimizing this approach how we can optimize it okay all right one approach which is coming in my mind is basically a two pointer approach and uh, let's try to solve this with two pointer approach so what we can do look first of all what i will do i will simply sort this array 
sorting array what the time complexity of sorting the array uh, reply in the comments okay after sorting it will 5 10 20 30 okay so in that way and now uh, i will be placing two pointers first pointer will be at this 5 another pointer will be at this 30 okay all right now what i will do uh, let's take few things let's take one answer list answer list is currently empty okay and what's the absolute difference let's say closest uh, till current close okay current close is another variable which will be keeping key how much close answer i have got till this point so let's suppose it is infinity at this time okay now i have got uh, my target is 25 my current sum will be what 30 plus 5 35 okay all right so is this 35 sum and uh, current target is 25 current is 35 so what's the difference how closest we have we have 10 close we are 10 close okay 10 number close to target okay all right so current close is infinite 10 is less than this okay so i will update my current close to let's say 10 okay and my answer will be having two uh, numbers that is 5 comma 30 i will return okay all right after that look my target is greater than my current sum is 35 which is greater than target so what i have to do i have to decrease like i have to uh, come as close as possible to the target so what i will do i will decrease my int because i have to decrease my current sum as well so i have to decrease my int now it will be pointing to this okay 525 i've got the target and target is 25 my current sum is also 25 so in that case uh, i have got my answer i have got my answer because we have to tell um, maximum absolute difference okay so let's suppose there is another number where the 10 is there and 15 let's suppose 10 50 okay and current is uh, i have got one pair which is 520 look this is also equal to 25 and this is also equal to 25 so which one i will take i will take the max absolute difference one which will i will get the first look uh, max absolute difference i will always get first because first one is will be the minimum at minimum and last one will be at the maximum okay so i have got a pair and if my target is equal to current sum at any point i will simply return those numbers okay so i will update my list to uh, 520 and i will simply return okay so in this way we are going to do this okay all right now let's take another example and uh, try to solve it pretty quickly i will do one two four five seven okay all right and after that two pointers first one is this second one is this current is uh, let's suppose infinite i will update it and my answer list is also empty okay all right and after that first of all what i will do i will simply uh, do the sum okay my target is 10 my target is 10 current sum is what 8 current sum is 8 okay so what i will do look now you will see ki i have to uh, minimize i have to my target is less okay how less it is my current difference between target and sum is what 2 okay uh, which is less okay i have got one answer which will be 1 comma 7 okay all right and after that look i have to move to target meanwhile my current sum is less so what i have to increase i have to increase my i i have to increase my i i got this i okay current sum now will be current sum will be 9 and uh, how much close we are we are currently close 1 we are one close okay so now what i have to do i have to look i have got more closer so i will update my current to one and i will update my answer to two comma seven as well okay all right and after that what i will do i will uh, look i have to move more closer we are currently less than target i have to move more closer so what i will do i will move to this point now i will have to update i because if i'm my current sum is greater than target i will decrease my end if my current sum is less than target i will increase my starting okay so seven uh, four and seven okay what's the current sum 11 okay and how much closer we are we are now one close we are one close current is also one so look whenever uh, what pair i will get earlier that will have the max absolute difference uh, because look uh, earlier what two seven and now it is Four, seven so which has the most absolute difference the pair which i will get the first it will always be in this way okay so 27 is there i will not update but now my target is current sum current sum is 11 it's greater than target so what i will do i will simply update my int i will decrease my int to this four five again current again sum is nine okay and uh, i have got my current is as well one current now this new is also one i will not update and now i have to again uh, move to target my current sum is less than target i have to increase my starting now starting and in both are pointing to same point uh, i don't have to do anything i will simply return my current answer i hope this point is very very clear to you the approach is very very clear to you so 
If you have loved the explanation to this point, please subscribe the channel and like the video. And I have made a very cool Chrome extension for you. You can see this watch tutorial button here and on lead code as well, which is added by that extension. And you can watch the tutorials here only. The link will be in the pinned comment. Make sure to check it out. You will definitely like it. Now let's move on to the code section. First of all, what I will do, if you remember, first of all, I will simply sort this array. Array is dot sort. ARR. Second thing what I will do, I will simply take my list of integer answer which I have to return something like this and I will take two variables. Let's suppose starting will be at 0, end will be ARR dot length minus 1. Okay, and now current close will be uh, let's suppose max. So to make it infinity, I will simply do integer dot max value in Java. Okay, and now what I will do. I will run this loop till my starting is less than end. Okay, and now what I will do? I will simply first of all let's calculate the sum. So int sum is equal to arr of starting plus arr of end. Okay, and uh, now if math dot absolute difference of of what of uh, target minus sum. Okay, if it is less then my current close so i have to update my current close so what will be the current close current close will be equal to uh, this math dot absolute one only okay something like this and now what i have to do i have to update my answer as well because i have got new answer so what i will do i will simply do answer dot clear clear the answer whatever is added in this list and simply add two values first of all answer dot add arr of starting and answer dot add arr of end okay all right and now i have to either update my starting or i have to update my end okay so what should i update look if if my current sum is which is sum is less than target i have to move towards target i have to move towards target i have to increase my sum and to increase my sum i will have to increase my starting okay otherwise uh, if let's suppose my sum is greater than target so what i have to do i have to decrease my current sum to decrease current sum i have to decrease the end as well and otherwise uh, if my sum is equal to target i have got my pairs i will simply return answer and when i will come out of this loop i will simply return answer here as well let's try to compile this i hope you have loved the explanation i have taken a lot of time to explain it very very clearly to, to you so please subscribe the channel like the video and uh, share the check out the extension you will definitely like it i'm going to see you again tomorrow and it is accepted in first time only so yeah i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then 